I was waiting for the bus uh, in Mingjian. The bus never came. And so I started walking under the sun with my backpacks. A guy just uh, passed by and stopped, asking me where I was heading to, and now he's driving me there. My trip to Lugu is having a great start. Let's see how it continues. Yesterday, upon my arrival, I just left my backpacks in the hostel and then I start wandering around the Lugu town. By the way, in Taiwan, as in China, we have to distinguish between the city itself, in this case Lugu, and the township, which is also Lugu. They carry the same name, but they refer to the different things. One is just the very city and the other one is, let's say, the area administered by the city, which in the case of Lugo, I think is about 20 by 20 kilometers, something like that. Now, I was walking down around downtown Lugo city, and it's uh, quite pleasant, actually. They have uh, little temples here and there, where you can just sit down and uh, uh, relax a little bit, then besides the two main roads you can just go on the sides and walk in very narrow alleys that uh, have a feeling of an old area with uh, very quiet no cars because they are too narrow and uh, ancient buildings in fact actually here in central and the south uh, taiwan you see more the influence of the japanese era even uh, my room i sleep uh, on uh, futon on tatamis the wall and the floor is uh, covered with hood and if you look, uh, look through the window on the other side of the road you see an ancient uh, building really reminiscent of Japanese uh, style. <laughs> behind me is uh, the hill of Donding. It's not even worth the name of mountain since it is just a couple of hundred meters higher <clears throat> than the township of uh, Lugu and it even doesn't reach 800 meters. Yesterday I also found the time for a haircut as you can see. It wasn't easy to convey what I actually wanted done with my hair and uh, well uh, at least portion of it is rich they are shorter now there is uh, no tea plantation on uh, donding it's just a hill that gives the name to the tea the tea fields are all around in the lugu township and actually even far beyond since it is well known that the competition donding the donding that usually win the local competition comes actually from a higher altitude in the township of uh, Jushan and in particular from uh, Shanlinshi. I have also heard, but I cannot confirm, so take it with a grain of salt, that those competition teas comes actually from tea gardens where there is a large use of fertilizer. And this is because, or should be, because the fertilizer also gives uh, a particular sweet taste to the tea. I am walking up a hill just southwest of uh, Donding. Donding, you see it there, and uh, actually this hill is even higher, slightly higher than Donding, so we can look on the whole Donding hill from almost from the top. I came up to the Chilintan Lake to show you that it's less idyllic, as people describe it. It is basically just a little bit more than a puddle with a fairly dark, muddy water and there are not really mountains surrounding it, just little hills and those hills do not really reflect on the clear water because the water is not clear. Also, it is said that around the lake there is all the donding production but as a matter of fact, I don't see many tea bushes around here. Yes, on the other side of the lake, there are a few of them. And actually those can be considered really on the Donding mountain or Donding hill, which starts just there. But certainly the vast majority of the Donding production doesn't come from those few bushes. I have been walking from the Yonlong village where the lake was 
all the way south to Fenghuan village here. On the way there were some tea trees here and there but there were also tons of other different cultivations like uh, banana trees and other plant. This is actually the first uh, relatively large factory, actually it's the only factory I have seen uh, during my walk today. They have some uh, isolated plants here. And larger cultivation on the back. Yesterday I didn't really want to stop and drink tea and start searching for tea but in uh, Fenghuang I was running out of uh, battery, my phone was down and so I just entered a shop uh, for drinking a little bit of tea. Well, um, they started asking questions so I had to say that I was there for searching tea for my shop and when they realized it they started taking out different teas to try. And as expected actually it was quite disappointing either the tea at the beginning was very uh, green then they took out what they really called donding and it was too roasted a classical thing here very small pears so relatively small leaves and extremely roasted and beyond the roasting there was not much taste there is not so much um, the taste of the leaves themselves, the aftertaste was not there and this is really not what I'm searching. Unfortunately, this is the standard today and uh, I know it will, be, it will be hard. What I'm searching here in Lugu? Well, Donding. Donding, it's easy to find Donding from elsewhere and uh, um, you can find properly processed Donding but sometimes you just want uh, the real thing. You just want to try what is having a donding from Lugu, from the original place. On top of that, I don't want whatever donding. Um, I don't want the classic nowadays competition level donding that uh, is too roasted. I just don't like it and there is not so much behind that. I really want to search for that taste that I had back in 2014 for the first time when I had a donding from Chen Huantan, a Taiwanese tea master. It was, uh, it is a roasted tea, but behind the roastness there is uh, a sugar cane sweetness that come with it. After that, the taste in your mouth is like the roastiness disappearing and the whole complexity um, of fragrances comes out that are actually generated during the oxidation of the leaves. And the aftertaste was amazing. I remember having tasted that one tea on one evening with a friend. On the way back with my bike through the street, I still had the aftertaste in my mouth. And the next day, when I got up in the morning, that taste was with me. It's uh, nothing compared to what I had yesterday. And honestly, I'm not so positive about finding it. But, you know, at least I have uh, an impression about the area. I get the feeling and it's just traveling. If I find it well, otherwise I already have uh, other properly done donding, just not from right here.